Now, your Alaska Link weather for Juneau and Southeast. Good evening and happy Tuesday as today will go down as another day of over an inch of rainfall accumulation in the Juneau area, which is continuing to lead to river rises across the panhandle, as well as noting that Juneau is still on record or on pace to potentially bring in one of the wettest Julys on record. Now, what we're seeing is that conditions are starting to dissipate here. We're turning to some showery conditions and a low of 50 degrees tonight. As we turn showery, we are expecting some minor accumulations as we roll through about Friday, where we are also expected to stay under gray skies. There may be a filter of some sunshine here and there, but there's no big promise of clearing out those skies and bringing in a blue sky condition. But what we'll see is that as we have these conditions that move into the weekend, we will see the weekend will bring back some more of those rain chances, as well as noting that we are going to continue to talk about a pattern change that is going to take us into August, and we'll detail more here on that in a moment. But as we look at our tide forecast for Wednesday. We will have a high tide at 336 in the morning and then again at 430 into the late afternoon. We step into the day with a high 56 degrees, so holding below normal under the gray skies and a few isolated showers. As expecting very minor accumulations, even as we roll through forecast here, that easterly wave still could usher in some little bouts of some rain showers, but overall we're expected to continue to stay again with that gray sky. There is some signal there at times, maybe the forecast trying to break up that cloud cover to allow for some sunshine especially for the southern panhandle. Northern panhandle looks to stay a little bit more entrenched in that cloud cover and as well as including a few of those light showers. But when it comes down to accumulation for our Wednesday and Thursday, it does stay to even including Friday, a few hundredths of an inch to maybe a tenth of an inch, quarter of an inch in some isolated spots. 16 hours and 58 minutes of daylight is what we're working with this time of the year. 434 is our sunrise, 933 is our sunset. Again, not much sunshine to see here in the coming days. We will try to work into some quieter sky conditions that may try to break up cloud cover, but at least for our Wednesday here, we stay with that cooler than normal temperature trend, 50s to low 60s, and then we continue to copy and paste that here as we roll into the rest of our forecast where it is some showery conditions and lower 60s. Now, as mentioned, we are talking about keeping an eye on our August forecast as our August forecast is now included in our 6 to 10 day outlook, at least those first few days and the last few days of July. And what we're seeing is that there is some growing potential of a likelihood of below normal temperatures to take hold, pairing up with still more wet weather conditions as well for the panhandle. This will have to be monitored with how wet our July has been and now what we'll see into August. And we are seeing that we're not dealing with any big spikes in our temperature trend, at least trying to hang on to those lower 60s as we roll into next week. But we're also noting that we continue to hold on to some rain showers. However, there isn't seeming to be any big rain events in the near future.